Hi everyone, welcome to Online Study Buddy. So today, we're going to learn about solving problems related to the percentage, base, and rate. So first, let us define the terms. The base is the value related to 100%. So yun yung whole. It is associated with the word of. So in our example, 100 is 50% of 200. So yung word na associated with the word of is 200. So in this example, 200 is our base. Next, the percentage. Percentage naman, yun yung part of the whole. And it is associated with the word is. So dun sa previous example, 100 is 50% of 200. So ang associated sa word na is, is 100. Therefore, in this example, 100 is the percentage. Next, we have the rate. So, yung rate naman, ito yung ratio ng percentage and ng base. So, it is written in percent. So, for our example, we see that the rate is 50%. So, yeah, madali siyang hanapin kasi written siya in percent. So for the following examples, let us identify which is the percentage, the base, and the rate. So for percentage, let's use the letter P. For base, let's use B. And for rate, let's use R. So for the first example, it is 25% of 400 is 100. So we immediately know that 25% is our rate. 400. So 400 is associated with the word of. Therefore, 400 is our base. Lastly, we have 100 is our percentage. So next, we have 600 is 15% of what? So we have 600 associated with the word is. Therefore, 600 is our percentage. 15% is our rate. And dito sa example na to, we are looking for the base. So yung what? Yun yung base na rin, yung hinahanap. Lastly, we have 180 is 20% of 900. So yung 180 is associated with the word is, therefore it is the percentage. 20% is our rate. And yung 900, since it is associated with the word of, it is the base. So how, how exactly do we solve for the percentage, the base, and the rate? We simply follow this formula. So the percentage is equal to the base times the rate. So ito lang yung formula na ginagamit natin para masolve. So it is important to be able to identify, pag nakita natin yung problem, identify mo agad kung ano yung hinahanap para alam mo kung ano yung missing variables mo. So, for our first example, so, what percent of 150 is 15? So, we know that 150, since it is associated with the word of, it is our base. And 15 is associated with the word is, therefore 15 is our percentage. So, what, what we're looking for is our rate. So, ang formula natin is 15 is equal to the base, which is 150, times the rate, which we will be representing with the letter R. So to be able to solve for the rate, we must divide the percentage by the base. So we have 15 over 150. So we can simplify this by transforming it to 1 over 10. So we know that to be able to transform one tenth to decimal form, we simply move the decimal place by one to the left since the denominator natin has only one zero. So one tenth is equal to zero point one. And to be able to transform a decimal number into percent form, we simply multiply it by one hundred. So we move again the decimal place as two places to the right. So, it is equal to 10%. So, yun yung final answer natin. Next, we have 600 is 15% of what? 
So since yung what is associated with the word of, we know that we're looking for the base. So ang pangiging formula natin is 600 is equal to the base, which we represent with the letter B, times the rate, which is 15%. So, to be able to solve for the base, we divide 600 by 15%. Now, yung 15%, let's express it in decimal form. So, it is 0 0.15. So, now let us divide 600 divided by 0 0.15. So, we know from our grade school lessons that when we divide numbers na decimal form, we simply move the decimal places. So for this case, we move the decimal places ng point, 0 0.15, two places to the right, and we do the same for 600 dun sa ating dividend. And then we proceed with our division. So we know that we have 415 sa loob ng 60. So we write 460 and then 0. Then we just copy the number of zeros. So our answer is 4,000. So we know that the base is equal to 4,000. So para madali nating maalala yung formula, we can also use this triangle. Let's call it the PBR triangle. So sa top, we have the percentage. Then sa baba, we have the base and the rate. So, to be able to solve for the percentage, we simply multiply the base and the rate since silang dalawa yung magkagabi. Next, if we are looking for the base, we simply divide the percentage by the rate since nasa taas yung percentage and nasa baba yung rate. Lastly, if we're looking for the rate, we simply divide the percentage by the base since ang matitira is nasa taas yung P and nasa baba yung B. So, yan. So, let us try to apply the PBR triangle in the in solving for the following examples. So, first example natin, what percent of 60 is 24? So, we're looking for the rate in this problem. So, yan. So, to be able to solve for the rate, we divide the percentage by the base. So, ang percentage natin sa problem na to is 24, and then our base is 60. Then, we proceed in dividing this number. So, 24 divided by 60. So, since mas maliit yung ating dividend, we add our decimal ng 0, and then we proceed with dividing, and we know that in 240, there are 4 60s. So we have 4 dito sa taas. So our answer is 0 0.4. And to express this in percent form, we simply move 2 decimal places to the right since we're multiplying 100. So the answer natin is 40%. So for our next problem, we have find 25% of 100. So ang hinahanap naman natin dito is the percentage. So what we will do is to multiply 100 by 25%. So ang 25% can be expressed as 0 0.25. So let's multiply 100 by 0 0.25. So we move two decimal places to the right. And our answer is 25. So let us also note that it would be very helpful if we remember yung fraction form ng ibang mga percent natin. So for this example, 25%, let us remember that 25% is also 1 fourth. 50% is 1 half. And 75% is 3 fourths. So, if we knew that when we saw this second example, we will know that we are looking for one-fourth of 100. So, immediately, nalalaman natin na yung answer is 25. So, for our last example, we have 
60 is 50 percent of what so we are looking for the base in this problem so ang formula natin is 60 over 50 percent so 50 percent is 0 0.5 so let us proceed in solving this by division so 60 divided by 0 0.5 so we move one decimal to the right and then solve the problem so 60 divided by 5 is 12 so we have 60 0 and 0 so um, answer natin is 120 but also we can recall that 50 percent is also one half so pwede natin be expressed as 60 divided by 1 half and then remember that when we are dividing fractions we simply multiply it to the reciprocal so this is also 60 times 2 over 1 so our answer is 120 so that's it for our lesson on percentage base and grade so on our next video we will be solving more problems on this topic so please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for our future lessons. Thank you very much. See you next time.